Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about more retarded shit. What else, hmm? Anyway, from Bounding to Comics. Trio of Funimation, Asian American voice actors take issue with white actors in anime, while boasting the voice acting um, affords the freedom to play outside of your body lock. <laughs> Well, most of the animes, as you can see, I'm not much of an anime watcher or anything like that. But based on what I know, most of the animes, they actually draw the characters based on European descent, Caucasians, as in whites. So, um, they, sometimes I, I, you can tell the difference between one or the other, but sometimes they actually make the drawings, the Asians looking like this, sometimes not, it depends. It, it, it's a meme. Uh, and if you are going to criticize or or block people from doing their job, uh, I like I said, I well anyway, if you are going to block people from doing the voice acting of a character because somehow they don't look like the character they are portraying behind an animated show, it's going to be problematic. Mm-hmm. Look, I usually only have a problem if they are doing a live action or they change the race of, of the character in an animated representation, from, for instance, uh, from a comic to animated and they change the race. Those I usually have a problem with because they need to represent the original material. But, but, if in this case, um, it's an animated, uh, um, it's just a voice actor, so... It doesn't matter. For instance, the God uh, God of War for PlayStation. I don't own a PlayStation, so I haven't played the game. But from the trailers and the um, some of the footage I saw, the Kratos, I believe it's the name. It's the name. He's white, but the guy who makes his voice is Teal'c. Teal'c from Stargate. He has the voice of a god. The voice of an angel, and he nailed his work perfectly. Now imagine if we were to follow it and um, uh, forbade uh, his role in not voicing Kratos. That would be problematic, and we will be, and we will lose the good sound and voice that represented Kratos. But then again, he's black, so he's kind of allowed to do it, not the other way around. As you can see, it's, um, it's, uh, it's retarded. Anyway, a trio of Asian American voice actors currently employed by Funimation recently shared their frustrations with white voice actors, primarily celebrities, acting in or voicing both live actions and animated anime productions while simultaneously boasting of the freedom of the profession and allows them to play outside how your body looks. In a May 25th piece, headline, Asian Americans voice actor questions why, 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 why white A-list stars are still voicing an E-team. Because they can, they, because they should, and look, I, I, I usually have a tendency to avoid dubbing, especially now that I've learned English, but since I've been born in a non-English native country and lived most of it of my life in non-English native country, Dubbing is a bit of a pickle, because usually the quality is abysmal. Sometimes when you're watching, and because this is local TV, so they have to actually show dubbed TV shows or movies and things like that. And some, and sometimes you're watching and suddenly you notice the character that is supposedly talking on the TV has the, the lips are not moving, but uh, but the voice of the actor, but the voice is there, it's the same from the character. Then you realize, oh no, oh no, it's actually the other character who is talking because the dubbing they do, the, the voice acting, they are kind of shit. They don't even try to disguise their voice or change it to represent another character. They don't even do it. It's absolutely crap. And most of the time, the dubbing uh, takes out that surround sound that you get and becomes mono or stereo, and it's abysmal. 
And other problems, certain words they don't translate from English to, um, and they kind of try to repeat it, even despite the goddamn stupid voice actor dubbing, listening to the word being said by the original actor, they still butcher the pronunciation of the word, and that triggers me to no end. Anyway, let's go. Uh, after you, uh, Rude. And Sean Gunn regarding their self declared commitment to furthering discussions about the role of Asians and Asian Americans in voice of Iraq roles. Hmm. On the topic of entering the industry, Lowell recalled how during her Chinese American upbringing, I really. No, 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 no. I really wanted to go into film, but my parents were like, You're not pretty enough. I grew up in the age where every Chinese character on TV looked like Lucy Liu. Everybody had almond eyes, super long straight hair, tall and skin. Mm. Well, let me just say, Lucy Liu uh, is absolutely fucking hot. But for a comment like this, it kind of gives you a perspective of who the person is behind. Maybe it's a short, tiny, little, fat bitch. I don't know. Who knows? Here it is. Amy Lowe. That manlet you see on the screen is her. No wonder she is completely fucking... I think this is her. Uh, no wonder she is absolutely goddamn fucking triggered over it. Because... Bitches usually are a bit uh, problematic in the regard that they uh, they get jealous of the looks of the other women, who is usually a hotter or better looking or uh, or smarter than they are. So they get they throw a temper tantrum. Anyway, let's go. There's so there's so much is about who should be in the character or what fits the mold of certain levels of intelligence when they are on stage. Oh, that's gone. So, um, 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 uh, there are levels, uh, there are so many, uh, I'll go ahead do the next one. And himself, an individual of Filipino descent, Filipinos, this is an annoying person to people who don't know me. I get Hispanic, I get Native American, and I play those roles. Well, since you're of Filipino descent, then you will not be able to play Hispanics, you'll not be able to play Native Americans, and much less any other role. If you're against, if you support the current idea here, those roles will be completely 100% cut from you, and only Filipinos character, only Filipino characters will be allowed for you to play. Do you think this is a good idea, you imbecilic cock mumbling moron? Hmm? Of course. However, the Japanese American News spoke positive positively to how voice acting allows a respective <sighs> respective voice actor to completely embody a different character. No, when it when it comes to voiceover, I play a lot of runs, a lot more than I would have expected starting out. Having the freedom to play outside, how your body looks really appealing to me, declared you. At least you, on that regard, um, I think it's a fear you. She kind of looked okay. So definitely better than the Amy Lowe. Um, yeah, until the Eastern culture high. No, no, it's even her. Eastern culture, hyperlifts, Western culture, but guess what? They are the ones doing the voices on their ends. Yeah. A claim which in the wire reporter explained was rooted in the idea that once upon a China, there's a stereotype in the US, they're still allowing Asian actors to voice the characters. Which Gan believes should be continued here where the US has a rich diversity of performance. So basically, Japan. Uh, so basically you are saying that uh, Japanese people, only Japanese people, should be able to voice the Western characters in the animes. Is that it? That doesn't seem to make much sense. And if that is true, that definitely means you're going to lose a lot of roles because Hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That means that if you are going to advocate for this, you're going to have to, sub to be subjected to the same rules. Yes. 
you are going to stop taking characters and roles from western characters or or the things of animated shows and you will be typecast yes as one specific ethnicity mm. This is a confusing bit of logic that appears to, to go against the very argument put forth by Gan. For if Asian act voice actors are allowed to and praise for the ability to voice US stereotype due to the location of the production, then the logic follows that white voice actors in a predominantly white country dubbing Asian characters should be considered completely innocuous if not outright celebrated. Oh, another thing, I'm pretty sure Japanese people would be absolutely fucking insulted because, uh, by being compared as some sort of monolith with all the Asian countries in that region. That means that a Chinese person, uh, someone with Chinese ancestry, should not be voicing uh, any anime characters because it's not uh, Japanese, and Japanese people will get insulted if a Chinese voices one of their characters. Do you actually think that the Chinese and Japanese share the same culture, you fucking retards? The trio then turned to the topic of mainstream Hollywood productions utilizing a ah, start to voice their characters, even in dubbed versions of anime features, with you observing that as far as can tell, it's not moving for any, pr any more products. Adding that no one went to go see Ponyo because by the serious little sister Nova Cyrus, What's in it? <laughs> At this point in the interview, you then made one of the most baffling assertions of the entire piece. Telling Lopez on the subject of representation in anime, anime acting. I wonder if Skanto plays a major in Ghost in the Cell as long as I get a fair shot at playing Black Widow. Ah! Well, aren't you a bit retarded after you? You are pretty bit retarded. Scarlett Johansson actually played the shell, as in the spirit of a Japanese lady was inside her. Not the spirit of the brain and things like that, were inside her. Meanwhile, that was correct. In, in fact, she even spoke in Japanese and things like that on the other character. Like, I, I, it just shows that you didn't watch the movie, you stupid bitch. The issue preventing you from appearing on screen as Black Widow is not any form of racism, but a rather simple fact that acting and voice acting requires two separate and distinct, albeit related, skill sets. Just as a screen actor may have trouble properly conveying an animated character's emotion with only the intricacies of their voice, a voice actor would likely find trouble in utilizing elements such as subtle facial expression or body language to portray a character in, li in live real time. This argument is both disingenuous and insidious as not only does it falsely depict voice acting and stage acting as essentially the same field, but this falsely false equivalence affords you an unattainable goal of equity, which she can continually point to as evidence of a systemic anti-Asian sentiments. Yes, it's sentiments. <laughs> Offering no example but claiming that lots of the anime being done today to explain three specific errors in Japanese history, and those the voice actors should reflect that. Oh! You further explain, exclaimed that this belief was based upon Japanese history and the things that are ingained in our culture. The more the character in the story is about some culture or something lived experience, the more I would really like the actor to have some familiarity and have lived in those spaces. So, definitely you... You are definitely going to be kicked out of all white characters in your future ventures. Are you happy about that? Hmm? You don't want to be a hypocrite, do you? Hmm? <sighs> Unfortunately for you, not only would this propose... Oh, you! Fuck you! Fuck me! <laughs> Austin Powers! Oh god, this movie would never be made in this day and age. Unfortunately for you, not only will this proposal, proposed standard prevent her or any 
any Asian voice actor for that matter from starring in an EAM series based upon Western cultures, such as Attack on Titan, Vinland Saga, Bacano, and Full Metal Alchemist, but it would also work counterproductively against their own goals. After all, if a requirement is put in place and many the voice actors share some familiarity and have lived in those spaces as their character, it will definitely prevent her from playing Black Widow or any other such white character due to her lack of familiarity with their cultures and experiences. Absolutely correct, and I agree. Do these people think before they open their mouths? No, they do not. Yet, these concerns are not limited solely on the ethnicity of those serving as voice actors. You and Gan, both of whom had opportunities to serve as directors at Funimation, ended up the piece by voicing their frustrations with how their respective journey and journeys, journeys to these positions had been reliant on those with power who are also white. Mm. No wonder Funimation is pretty much viewed as the cesspit of animation in the Western world. Despite the fact that they actually, oh, no, no, no. oh, despite the fact that I actually spent a lot of time directing outside of animation, no one was really looking at me until another director, a white guy, saw me, believed in me, and went to bat, went to bat for me pretty hard. <laughs> And do you want to advertise how many employees do you have? What about managers? What about upper level? <clears throat> Likewise, Gan concluded to Lops. I have a foot in the door now. It's hard in the bush to make myself a permanent fixture amongst that group. You just have to earn the trust, and a lot of the time it's hard and four people kill a woozy and a woman to make that leap. Z. I you retarded and I absolutely hate BIPOC, oh, the word POC, it means colored people, it's kind of returning to the old Jim Crow era that's absolutely insulting and very very racist, I am sorry it is. The end. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, by the way, I also want to point it out that I do add the voice actors of animated shows mostly because that's the format of the list, otherwise I wouldn't care. But this one, Andra, the reason she's actually added here in in this list is not because of the actress, I do not know who she is, but mostly because she got back blackwashed in the animated series, which is a continuation of the one from the 80s. Somehow, somewhere, she became Rachel Dolezal. Yeah, she was white in the original series, then some, suddenly, she tanned herself and became black. Yeah, that makes much sense. Anyway, if you like this type of content, stay right here on youtube.com forward slash Dr. Chester. Or if you want spicy content, head to bitchute.com forward slash Dr. Chester or minds.com forward slash Dr. Chester. Especially because if I get yeeted out of YouTube, those are the only places you find me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a very good fucking night.